All right, let's factor this equation. We have x squared minus 12x plus 36 equals zero. And the first thing we want to do is we want to get a skeleton equation. So I've already put that up here. Once we have our skeleton, we can add the signs in. And I see that the center term here, the middle term is negative. So if the center term, the middle term, that's negative, we're going to put a negative and a negative in our skeleton like this. Once we've done that, we find the factors for the last term, that's 36, that should equal the middle term. They should add up to the middle term. I know that 6 times 6, that would give me 36. And 6 plus 6, that's 12. So if we just put 6 in here, we're done. We have factored the equation x squared minus 12x plus 36. We should check our work with the FOIL method, though. Multiply the first, outside, inside, and then last. We end up with we combine these two terms here, negative 6x and negative 6x, that's negative 12x. We have our x squared, our 36. This is the same thing as we started with. So we correctly factored the equation x squared minus 12x plus 36. Let's find the values for x that when we put them back into the equation, make this side equal to 0. Because 0 equals 0, that's a true statement. We say x minus 6 equals 0, add a positive 6 to both sides x equals 6. And this is the same thing. So if you put 6 in for x here and you do the math, you'll end up with this equaling 0. So we did this part correctly. If you use the quadratic equation, you'll also get this answer here. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared minus 12x plus 36. Thanks for watching.